Hey, how's it going now? Welcome back to my channel. Now, there has been an ongoing argument or discourse, if you will, going on in the comments of one of my recent videos. And I just didn't expect the entire comment section to go into a ruckus. I mean, look at this. <laughs> made the video just as a commentary on how Twitter artists maneuver their way around drawing and painting black skin tones and then I explained a simple step by step process which is more like a checklist for people to follow whenever they're trying to make beautiful and much more convincing black skin drawings or paintings. And I didn't expect all the hullabaloo in the comments since everyone is literally tense and prioritizing safety while the world is seemingly on the brink of another world war. Not to scare anyone with the details but um... <sighs> I hope everyone is safe out there and prayers for all the lost souls in the bombings. I read through a lot of the comments and while some of them were quite funny, some others were carefully thought out criticisms on the topic with interesting opinions. So let's go look at some of them. My main female OC is black and I've had DMs from people of color telling me how they love how I draw her and her family. On the other hand, I have people openly commenting that races shouldn't mix her husband is white or that black people don't belong in snow. This is a joke, right? It has to be a joke like saying uh, black people don't belong in water because the joke is that black people can't swim and they're scared of getting their shoes wet, their Jordans wet that is. So it probably is a joke like that, right? But saying races shouldn't mix? No, honestly, I genuinely want to know the reason for saying races shouldn't mix. Is there like a weird myth that I don't know about that prohibits races from mixing and just having intimate relationships with one another and giving birth to cute mixed babies? Or does this person just deserve to be casted in Django as all three of the brittle brothers so he can be shot? whipped and shot again. I am Japanese and I see this a lot with fellow Japanese artists. I believe that one should draw in the right skin tone no matter the excuse. But then, if someone makes a mistake and got berated for it, that's where the problem is. I've seen so many Japanese artists who don't want to draw black characters simply because they are scared. And as an artist myself, I'm starting to get scared too. It's a never ending cycle. An artist draws and makes a tiny mistake, gets called bigot and ends up never drawing black characters. Then they get crap again for not drawing diversity. And guess who gets all the short end of the stick? The artists. You see, this is genuinely the problem with the Twitter art community. And it more or less has nothing to do with the artists in the community themselves, but mostly fans and supporters of the artists and just people who are interested in looking at art. You see, whenever an artist posts a drawing, it's the Twitter art community that corrects them, depending if the drawing is discriminating a race or if the drawing is either blackwashing or whitewashing. With this being whitewashing the majority of the time since it's Twitter, now some people in the Twitter art community and kind and polite and can also point out mistakes, corrections and suggestions they want the artist to make in their drawing without being rude. But the other people in the community, those ones are just over the top. These are the kind of people that leave savage remarks on art posts and force artists to never ever use Twitter again in their life. No kidding, people on Twitter can literally roast you and troll you so hard that you will regret ever downloading that Bluebird app on your phone at all. And for artists who are just simple people that just want to make nice fun little drawings and just move along with their life the entire day without having any drama, Twitter doesn't care about that. They live for drama. Twitter literally exists just to make drama out of the slightest mistake. The slight, the tiniest detail 
is what can lead to an enormous drama on Twitter. My advice for you is not to be scared or feel bullied or pressured into not drawing black characters and posting on Twitter again. You can literally do whatever and post your drawings wherever you want to. And if you get criticized, go through the comments, find the ones that are actual constructive criticism and try to learn from them and apply that in your work. And then just ignore the rest that are trolls or just people trying to get a reaction out of you. Speaking about trolls, don't you hate it when you're browsing the internet and you get a weird email saying you want an iPhone 13 and you should click the link to claim it? Well, not to worry at all because the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, has you covered. Surfshark VPN is the number one virtual private network that protects your devices from hijackers every time you connect to an insecure network, like free Wi-Fi or a hotspot. Surfshark VPN encrypts your data through any of their fast and reliable servers around the world. It will take anybody trying to hack you years and a supercomputer before they can even find out where you are. And as if that's not enough, Surfshark VPN allows you to connect to the internet using any of their servers in other countries, which anonymously changes your location. So if you can't access some movies on Netflix because you live in South Africa, well, now you're in Canada and there's a ton of new movies for you to enjoy from the couch in your home. So what are you waiting for? Head over to surfshark.deal slash agbadi and use promo code AGBADI to save 83% off your first purchase and extra 3 months for free. Links to everything will be in the description. Thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and every other video they've sponsored in the past. There is a huge difference between don't draw caricatures of black people and don't draw black caricatures. One is a great way to improve your likeness skills and your ability to distinguish prominent features between other races and the other is a great way to get cancelled on Twitter. I mean, it's literally easy to pinpoint which is which. If I show you these two images, which one do you think is racist between both of them? That just proved my point. I was accused of whitewashing and being racist for shading a dark-skinned character lighter. Since the lighting was strong sunlight and I'm a beginner at choosing colors and shading, I agree that I could have done better. But what I took issue with is that they instantly jumped to the conclusion that I had done it on purpose. When I color picked the swatch off an image from Google, it's not my fault that official art wasn't official enough for some people, which I appreciated and and thanked them for. They understood that I was just starting out and gave me constructive criticism instead of instantly reacting in my comments. Immediately calling someone racist for a beginner mistake is what pisses me off. I'm so sorry you had to experience that as a beginner artist and it's awfully sad that that is just how Twitter works. No one cares if you just picked up a pencil Today, they just expect you to be under zone immediately. I'm so glad someone actually cared enough to help you and point out your mistake. Honestly, if everyone in the Twitter art community started thinking about how the artists themselves feel when you tweet at them with just unnecessary remarks and try to troll them, maybe we will have a better and more peaceful and understanding Twitter art community. Imagine a world without Twitter. One day. <laughs> Imagine a world without breathing. We wouldn't exist. I usually draw in a more pastel-y soft vibe and I was always worried that if I lightened the skin tone to fit the color palette, I would whitewash them. Thank you so much for clearing that up. No problem at all. You just have to keep all the tones relatively similar in the entire image and all within the same value range. And I guess you should be fine. But if the skin tone is lighter than the other colors in your drawing, you might as well just start writing your Twitter apology because you're going to need it. For me, if you're ever going to change a character's ethnicity, it has to be done to a character whose story is completely detached from their ethnicity. And even then, 
There are caveats and it still needs to be done well. Captain Keys in the new Halo TV show is being cast as black. This doesn't matter. His story is relatively minor and it legit has more to do with being turned into a literal ball sack than it does with his ethnicity. Now Black Panther on the other hand, you just can't change his ethnicity. It doesn't make sense to because it's pretty integral to said character's story. Plus. White Black Panther already exists and his name is White Tiger, also known as Casper Cole, and he eventually adopted the Black Panther. I genuinely love and agree with this comment so much. I even made an entire video on this topic talking about why changing a character's race solely depends on the character's backstory and how his ethnicity ties into it. So you should go watch that video after this one if you want to hear me talk about that some more. I think the biggest problem I see is when people dogpile on an artist for getting a skin tone wrong. If a person just lets them know about off colors, that's one thing. Being a jerk is another, especially when most of the targets of this I've seen are from Asian artists with Encanto characters. Also, another thing as you said, black people come in different shades of color not just dark skin. There are light skinned people that are black. You see being a jerk is the number one goal of half of the trolls on Twitter. You're either a jerk or you're being jerked off by somebody else. Wait, that didn't sound right, did it? This baffles me. I've always found darker skin much easier to paint and only just figured out a good way to paint lighter skin. Literally yesterday. And I still struggle with skin as pale as mine. <laughs> How cute. But I feel like black skin is relatively harder to paint than other skin tones just because of how the colors can literally change depending on how reflective the skin tone is. But if you can figure out how to paint black skin effortlessly, then painting other skin tones shouldn't be as hard. You'll probably get it in due time. I'm rooting for you. God, can we just stop changing the skin color or race of characters? People keep whitewashing my Hispanic OC too. I'm tired of seeing whitewashing. I'm tired of seeing blackwashing. If it isn't your character, don't change their race or weight or tit size for heck's sake. <laughs> public service announcement. I think this message should be directed at all the people on Twitter who just enjoy race swapping characters just to troll people and literally pull a reaction out of people on Twitter and get us to make videos like this. But they'll probably read this video and go, nah, it'll be fine. I honestly understand how whitewashing and blackwashing are two different things with different contexts. And I completely respect how anyone can feel about the issue. One thing that always confused me though was turning Asian characters black for the sake of representation. I've seen so many people on Twitter recoloring blatantly Asian characters with backgrounds based on their ethnicity because they want more representation. And as an East Asian, I'm really confused because isn't doing that basically removing representation of another POC race? So while I don't want to immediately come to conclusions, I really want to know why race bending of one race is considered okay to some people while that of another race isn't. Well, technically race bending of any race shouldn't be okay since you can just literally make up your own character and make them whatever race you want them to be while still having their backstories be original. It just seems like a trend where people make black edits of characters from popular anime franchises and edit them and swap their race for representation. And the majority of people on Twitter don't have a problem with that for some reason. I mean, both blacks, Hispanics and Asians are all POC and are also all underrepresented. So changing either one of them to another is just pointless to me and unnecessary. Anyways, I'd love to hear every one of your opinions on this topic. I'm sure it's kind of controversial at this point. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please drop the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And uh, with all that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.